Welcome to Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids. In this presentation, let us show the solutions to the MTOP 2024 Elimination Round for Grade 9 students. This is Part 1 of 5 Parts, Numbers 1 to 10. Let us begin with question number 1. Solve for x in x times the quantity 3x plus 6 equals 0. For our solution, since the equation is already in factored form and this is equated to 0, we will get the value of x by equating each factor to 0. So we have x equals 0 and the other factor 3x plus 6 equals 0. Subtracting 6 from both sides, we get 3x equals negative 6. Then dividing both sides by 3, we have x is equal to negative 2. Hence, the solution set is negative 2, 0. Problem number 2. What values of x satisfy the inequality x squared minus x is less than 0? For our solution, let us factor the left-hand side of the inequality. We have x times x minus 1 is less than 0. The solution to the quadratic equation x squared minus x are 0 and positive 1. Hence, the values of x are all values greater than 0 but less than 1. Number 3. Is the graph of negative 2 plus x times x minus 3 equals 0 facing upwards or downwards? If we multiply the two binomials on the left-hand side of the equation, we will get x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Hence, we have a quadratic equation where the leading term is positive. If the leading term is positive, then the graph representing the quadratic function is facing upwards. Number four, simplify the following expression. Cube root of x raised to 7 times y raised to negative 9. For our solution, let us simplify the equation. Then we have cube root of x raised to 7 times y raised to negative 9 equal to the cube root of x raised to 7 over y raised to 9. x raised to 7 is equal to x raised to 6 times x, while y raised to 9 is y cubed raised to the third power. Then, simplifying this expression, we get x squared cube root of x over y cubed. Number 5. Simplify the following expression. x squared times x raised to 1 half all over x raised to negative 3 halves times x raised to the 4th power. For our solution, let us use the rule of exponents. In the numerator, we have x squared times x raised to 1 half. So this is equal to x raised to 2 plus 1 half. While in the denominator, we have x raised to negative 3 halves times x raised to the 4th power. So this is equal to x raised to negative 3 halves plus 4. 2 plus 1 half is equal to 5 halves. And in the denominator, negative 3 halves plus 4 is equal to 5 halves. Hence, the simplified form of the expression is 1. Number 6. Simplify the following expression. 12 is square root of 2 plus 4 square root of 3, minus 2 square root of 8, 
plus square root of 27. For our solution, let us simplify 2 square root of 8 and square root of 27. So let us just copy 12 square root of 2 and 4 square root of 3 as these are in their simplest forms already. 2 times square root of 8 is 4 square root of 2. While square root of 27 is 3 square root of 3. Hence, we can combine 12 square root of 2 minus 4 square root of 2, that is equal to 8 square root of 2. And 4 square root of 3 plus 3 square root of 3 is equal to 7 square root of 3. Number 7. If y varies directly with x cubed and y is equal to 250 when x equals 5, then what is y when x is equal to 3? The model of direct variation is y is equal to kx cubed, where k is the constant of variation. Hence, the constant of variation is equal to y over x cubed. We're given that y is equal to 250 when x is equal to 5. We can substitute 250 divided by 5 cubed. 5 cubed is 125. Then 250 divided by 125, the constant of variation is equal to 2. The equation of variation, therefore, is y equals 2x cubed. We're looking for the value of y when x is equal to 3, so we substitute 2 times 3 cubed. 3 cubed is 27, so we have 2 times 27, then y is equal to 54 when x is equal to 3. Number 8. When the perimeter of a rectangle is 24 centimeters, and the length is 4 cm longer than the width, find the area of the rectangle. For our solution, let x be the width of the rectangle. Since it is given the length is 4 cm longer than the width, then we have x plus 4 be the length. The perimeter is 24, then we can have the equation. 24 is equal to 2 times the sum of the length and the width, that is x plus x plus 4. Dividing both sides by 2 and simplifying the terms inside the parentheses, we have 12 is equal to 2x plus 4. Subtracting 4 from both sides, we get 8 is equal to 2x. And then dividing by 2, both sides, x is equal to 4. Then this is the width. The length is equal to x plus 4, then we have 4 plus 4. The length is equal to 8 centimeters. Hence, the area is equal to the length times the width, that is 32 squared centimeters. Number 9. Triangle ABC is a right triangle. If BD is an angle by sector of angle ABC and BE is an angle by sector of angle DBC, what is the measure of angle EBC? From the figure, we see that triangle ABC is with right angle at B and then BD is the angle by sector of angle ABC. And then BE is an angle by sector of angle DBC. So for our solution, since the right triangle is right angled at B, then the measure of angle DBC is equal to one half the measure of angle ABC, which is 90 degrees, since BD is an angle by sector. 
So, measure of angle DBC is equal to 45 degrees. Now, since segment BE is an angle bisector of angle DBC, then measure of angle EBC is one half the measure of angle DBC, which is 45 degrees. So that is one half times 45 degrees, and this is 22.5 degrees. Number 10. It is known that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, and AB is equal to twice DE. What is the ratio of the area of triangle DEF to triangle ABC. For our solution, we know that AB is a side of triangle ABC and DE is a side of triangle DEF. And these two sides are corresponding sides of two similar triangles. We know that in two similar triangles or any similar polygons, if the ratio of the sides are a or is A to B, then the ratio between the areas will be A squared is to B squared. We are given that AB is equal to twice DE. Hence, AB over DE is equal to 2 or 2 is to 1. Now, since the ratio between DE and AB is 1 is to 2. The ratio DE to DE to AB is 1 is to 2. Then the area will be 1 squared is to 2 squared or 1 is to 4. That will be all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more Mac content videos, kids videos.